doing now is uh, I've got this uh, opaque micronaut time traveler and he's he's got the broken foot peg there and I was watching a video by Toy Poloi where he did a repair using this Lego antenna first of all I want to say that's completely genius I don't know how he thought of that but it's genius because it is the exact same size now the difference between what we're doing today and what he did is this is the opaque time traveler and this is the yellow antenna and it matches really closely. So I think that's neat. We're going to try to fix this time traveler because these opaque time travelers are really hard to find. Usually you find the translucent ones. Um, you know, these, these are near the end of the run of the Micronauts. The Mego ones from back in the 70s. I guess that was maybe early 80s. So here with the toy customizer guy and he's gonna help me out with this because he's way better at this than I am oh. but again big props to toy Poloy for coming up with this idea I'm not trying to steal his idea I'm just trying to fix my time traveler and thought I'd share it with you oh as he said uh, he's an avid uh, micronaut collector and he has no skill about fixing toys so he wrangled me in to fix his toy for him first thing we want to do we want to Clean it and prep the joint. We'll take a little bit of sandpaper and just smooth the, the surface on the flat of the joint. Don't take much pressure. Just slide a little bit of sanding. Get it nice, clean, and smooth. Then I'm going to need to make a pilot hole for the drill bit. So I'm going to take a have a just standard sculpting tool. I use this this one a lot. Just find your center. And if it's sharp enough, you can start twisting the plastic on these mega, uh, these micronauts are fairly soft, which is probably kind of the reason why they keep breaking. So you can see the pilot hole is on the edge of the foot if it'll focus. But now I'm going to start to work on a little drill bit a little bit with my, just with my fingers. Cut into it a little bit more. You can see the. I'm already cutting into it pretty well. You don't want to go too fast. Just slowly check it. I'm gonna to try to just go to the depth, like Toy Ploy did. He did went to the right here at the depth here, just enough where you have enough room to to glue the new peg in. I'm gonna to switch to a smaller bit. You can, you can actually buy like a like finger drills too, which you can just twist. It'll probably come in handy with this kind of stuff. Not really. If you got a sharp bit, you don't really need to worry about using a power tool. It'll just be a little quicker. You can pretty good progress on this. I do believe I'm actually going to go ahead and switch to the Dremel bit a little bit. One advantage with us using the opaque one over the translucent ones, we can actually go a little bit deeper if we need to, where they won't show up, and plus they give us a little more material to glue to. And also, if you're watching this video, you probably like Micronauts. And if you like Micronauts, if you would like give us a little attention to this video, so dude here will be a little bit incentivized to help me with some more Micronauts because I need some custom ones. You know the ones. And we've got some stuff for that hopefully coming up. You're going to nice and slow. Is I don't want to go too fast because if it's not wanting to cut, it'll melt the plastic. Don't do not want that. I do, I do not keep my tool up my dremel bits and that's neat. You know, probably a lot easier if I took the leg apart, but where these are so old, I wouldn't want to yeah, you tempt don't want that. To turn those screws, 
I can see very easily stripping the screw on this soft plastic. Also, I should mention this should also work on the uh, Thyroid and the Galactic Defender as well. Feet, the feet are interchangeable, so I would imagine that joint is exactly the same on those figures. I don't have a transparent figure to see. Let's see how deep this is. That's pretty good. That's not bad. I think that's enough. Do a little, just a tiny bit more, just to be safe. That's pretty awesome. But, uh, see if the antenna will fit in there. Let's see. <laughs> Get your hand out of here. So I cut the end off the antenna, not the ball end, because we're not ready for that yet. But I just cut the the Lego -y end off. What's that called? Is that a nub? Yeah, uh, he used to set of snips. So. No, I mean the, the Lego socket. What's the Lego? Is that called a nub? Or... He gets very easily distracted. Well, I was going to tell you, we used the same type of snips that Toy Polo used when he was cutting his uh, figures, uh, trimming his parts. So we just do want to do this test fit, see how much we got to reduce the diameter of the peg of the antenna. And we are pretty close. I don't want to make the the hole any, deep, uh, any wider on the leg, but we want to make the shaft a little smaller diameter to fit into the peg hole a little better. I went ahead and took the, uh, remove the other foot so we can see how much peg we're going to need. You notice one side of the peg is flat and the other side is uh, rounded, which we're not going to worry about that. Well, there shouldn't be any issue. Well, let's do a quick little test fit. The ball joint fits pretty well inside the foot. The material for the foot's pretty soft and it rolls around nice and It's, it's way softer than the, the material for the action pick itself. It's a good fit. Accurate. I'm not going to trim the piece yet. I'm going to leave the stem alone, but I'm just going to get a rough idea. Make it a little bit long, that way give me room to trim. But I'm going to take the, a Dremel bit and start working around the shaft to thin it down. Key is to go slow, nice and slow. You want to make sure you're not reducing it down by the actual ball. You want that much of it not reduced. We got a rough sanding. Then I get the diameter down. Take the sandpaper work on it right now. The sandpaper will by sanding on it's a rougher texture for the glue the body into, so you get a stronger bond. So it's a quick little test fit. Still a little big. The only problem now it's gonna be harder to hold with after trimming it. I'll take the, be careful if you take, you can take a hobby knife and shave some of the material off, but be very careful. I've sliced the many a finger with these things. Oh, you got a good fit. You just gotta start 
working on trimming it down. We're a little bit long right now, which will be too long than too short. And we can always trim down, but we can't add more to it. Again, we've decided not to put a flat spot. Except on his head. <laughs> I'm against the flat spot. Getting close. Really close. I'm excited. I have a really nice opaque red time traveler and a really nice opaque green time traveler. Bought the blue one recently. It's got a little chip out of it. I'm not sure that I'm satisfied with it. But either way, this is the yellow one. I need a yellow one. I think that repair is going to make me very happy. Make me satisfied with my last time traveler that I need. Complete the collection. Just a fraction off right now. That's the last thing I need. So my clumsy fingers just drop it in the floor and I start over with another antenna. <laughs> we have more antennas. So hopefully we won't need it. And I got that uh, antenna on eBay. I just searched for Lego antenna and it may also be called Lego Flagpole. I don't know if that's different or not. It was very cheap. I just want to even up the bottom right here and we should have it. file would probably work better for this such delicate parts I just don't have any metal files like this let's do one more fit do we have it I think we have a winner looks good to me and look at the colors are almost perfect man and we have it completely lined up I was thinking about using uh, InstaSet, but I probably don't want to do that because you only got one try to get set right if you use the InstaSet. So we're going to leave that to the side let this cure naturally. Which one's the better glue? Uh, Loctite's a good this glue I use a lot and it holds really well. But okay. I've used Gorilla Glue, but it's kind of like, almost like it takes longer to set, it seems like. It and expands it's like a, also, doesn't it? That's a different type. I, I just use like a oh, okay. standard uh, super glue. The, just want to do a couple more fits just to make sure because once it's glued, it, it is glued. Right, and like Toy Floyd said too, it's like don't try to put glue on your part itself. Take a little bit of glue, put it on paper, and if you collect a lot of Hasbro stuff, they keep putting these little warning slips in all the papers and the figures anymore so let's give it some use and where we sand the joints it should be nice textured to, for the glue to grip onto a little bit of rub around in the glue hold her breath and there you go Double check the limit. Let's do a quick test. That's a good trick. Little tug. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
There we go. We have a nicely repaired uh, Micronaut Time Traveler Opaque Yellow. Now, what, what we need now is the, uh, of course, these hands are actually should be white. These are the ones probably from a Favoroid. Someone switched them because that's what we do with Micronauts is change them around. I'll change out this head to a much shinier, nicer head. And, of course, get one of the inserts for the for the chest there. You might be able to restore this, too, with a Molotov Chrome. Little Chrome pins. Well, you know, I've got plenty of Good time head. traveler heads. Because the main problem is their feet are either missing or broken off or something like that. The heads are usually... In pretty good shape. Pretty good shape. But uh, yes, we have a successfully fixed, and we want to do a shout out to Toy Ploy for for his tutorial, which was very informative. I would have never figured out that Lego antenna thing, and I'm willing to bet neither would have anyone else except Toy Ploy. Again, I think that's genius. And do you have another foot we stick on here? I don't have one. I didn't bring one with me. I realized on the way here I should have. And yeah, that's his fault. That is my fault, but I do definitely do have other time traveler feet. But they are a hot commodity. If anybody got any time traveler feet for sale, contact me. I also need a uh, opaque green right arm. If anybody has one of those for sale is or for trade. Neat little fix. Well, I guess that'd be it for this video, and we'll take you, catch y'all next time.